Okay, welcome to my Cisco Writing and Switching Essentials Lab Review. This lab is going to be 6523, Troubleshooting Static Routes. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the network map. I want to see what networks are here, the networks are attached. So I see that R2 has three networks, R1 has two networks, R3 has two networks. So we're, saying, we're seeing that PC1 cannot access files on the server. So between PC1 and server on router 3. So there's a problem there. First thing I want to do is I want to trace route the server. See what happens. I get it to leave my network. Get star one and nothing. Time's out. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna start with R2. I want to get to its configuration. Before I do that, I want to do a show IP route, see what's there. Well I have that network. I don't have anything for router one's LAN. So that's that's a little bit disconcerting. So with that said, what well, what routes do we have? Let's do show right. Well, I have two guys right here that actually do show that, but, oh, the next hop is incorrect. The hops, next hops, got flipped. So, first problem, incorrect IP routes, they are flipped. Solution, let's go ahead and change them. Get our configuration terminal. First thing we have to do is delete the uh, two routes. Next thing we have to do is re-add them, add, adding the correct uh, information. I'm going to be sending it to that IP address. IP route. And it turns out they were just flipped, so we just have to flip them back. And that should correct that on R1. So let's try doing the ping again. We at least get past R2. All right, so we know we can get through R2. We can't get to R3 or back from R3. So let's Get it to R3, let's get to its CLI. Show IP route. Well, first of all, I don't see a route back to R1. So there is no route listed in router 3 for R1's LAN. How do we fix that? IP route. We're going to add in that. 172, oh, helps if I type it in the right window. 172, 31, 1, 0, 255, 255, 255, 128. We're going to be sending it out the serial interface. Now let's try pinging from PC1 back to the server again.
And it is taking its sweet time. Let's try just ping in the web server. 172.31, 1 1.190. So we get to a response back from 193, which should be R2. One twenty eight. Is going to ninety four, that's right. All right, yep, that's right. Oh, turns out I fat fingered it. So I told it the network 72, not 172. So I'm gonna go back, fix my typo. I'm gonna try it again. And this time, it should work, and it does. I'm gonna do a trace route back to it, and it works. All right, troubleshooting sometimes is taking it one step at a time and remembering some basic show commands, show IP route, show run, trace route, ping, and kind of take it step by step. That's the end of this lab, thank you.